Hey, how's it going out there, guys? Uh, today we're taking a look at the Omaton uh, stand. Now, this is a stand that could work with a cell phone, a your Nintendo Switch, a tablet, uh, whatever you want. Um, now, I saw this in the uh, Nintendo Switch accessories, and I had bought their glass screen protector, and I absolutely love the screen protector on my Switch, so I thought I'd take a look at this and um, see what I, you know, what I think. I previously did a review on the um, Nintendo branded uh, Play and Charge uh, stand for the uh, for the Switch, and um, I wasn't crazy about it. I felt that this was a a much nicer looking uh, stand, so I thought I'd you know review it for you guys and let you know what I thought. So uh, let's get into it. So pretty basic um, packaging here, nothing crazy. Um, I ordered this from again I got it from Amazon it was around $15 and it was um, available through Amazon Prime so I got it within one day of ordering it I ordered it on a Friday it came on a Saturday and um, yeah that was it it was it came pretty easy so comes in a real nice plastic bag there and uh, nothing else inside except the business card basically telling you about their Amazon store um, decent company though. Um, got their products fast and they were, you know, quality, quality screen protectors and, um, this feels pretty much the same. Now it's a, a black powder coated aluminum stand. And as you can see here, it is adjustable so I can get a decent range of motion here. Now these um, white pieces here they're actually rubber so that's like an anti-skid for the for the stand now I saw that they have these in silver um, in white and a couple like gray and a couple of other different colors so I would have liked to get this in like the um, the Mac you know silver that they come out with because that's actually what this stand reminded me of it, it reminded me of a uh, an iMac um, stand that's built into the their desktop PCs, so that's why I was kind of interested in it to begin with. Um, but yeah, that's not any type of just you know protective plastic that you peel off of there or anything like that. Now the bottom of it has a really nice rubber, uh, you know, real tacky grip on it, and there's plastic there. We're gonna peel that off, and it is very very tacky there, um, almost like if I put it on something it's going to stick and it's not going to move. So I'm, um, I'm literally trying to pull it right now and I can, I cannot like, you know, it lifts right off of the table, but if you try to push it or, or pull it or anything like that, like I literally am putting about 30, 40 pounds of force on it. And I, I cannot get that to move. Like I'm not putting a lot of downward pressure or anything like that. So even on an angle, this thing is not going to want to go anywhere. So I thought I would, uh, I got the switch here. Um, let's set it on here and see what we get. So that's what it's gonna look like. And again, you have a bunch of range of motion here. Um, and you can also use your, um, your charge cable with this thing too. So I have a charge cable here. So I just plug it into this and see what we got. If I can find it, there we go. Just put a little hair on it. <laughs> All right, so there you go. Um, with the cable in place, let's see how much range of motion we actually get with it. And that's about what we're looking at. Not bad. Um, I like it. I think for home use, if I was going to use this... Um, I definitely like this over the Nintendo one. A, it's metal. It's going to be a higher quality. It's about the same price. The Nintendo stand was $13. This was in the $15 range. Um, I didn't have to pay anything for shipping for it, so that was a plus. Um, and it feels like a quality product. Uh, much better than the, um, the very chintzy, bendable plastic that uh, the Nintendo stand was. So... Do I think it's worth it? Yes. Um, if you need a stand to play at a friend's house and charge your you know, switch at the same time, or you're just playing it in desktop mode, definitely this something like this would be much better than 
just a using the kickstand uh, and also the downside to that is you can't charge it while you're using it in desktop mode unless you have a stand like this so definitely something like this is going to be fantastic um, this is one of those tacky surfaces that if it does get a lot you know dirty if a lot of dirt sticks to it I think you can just take some water and some light soap wash that off clean it and it'll be real tacky and like brand new again um, for multiple uses so definitely this isn't something that's gonna you know wear out real quick or anything like that um, yes I like it I think if you own a switch if you own an iPad uh, or even a cell phone anything like that I think this would serve you well um, things I don't like about it I wish the um, I wish that angle was a little more pronounced like you could fit something that was a little bit fatter in there, you know, maybe. Uh, but the the lip here isn't that high, which is nice. So it's not gonna interfere with the screen. If you have a tablet or a phone or something where the screen comes out to the very edge of the tablet or the phone or the switch or whatever, this isn't gonna interfere in it. So I think they thought about this a lot when they designed it. And um, yeah, it's, it's lightweight. It probably late weighs about maybe a half a pound that's it maybe a pound at the most so um, yeah if you're in the market for a stand for your switch this is a great one so there you go guys um, let me know what you think in the comments something you think you'd go for if you think you found a better stand um, or if you just think I did a good job or a crappy job let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next video Thanks for watching.